Hey guys, it's Leo, and it's time to talk about episode 6 of Shoujo Kageki Review Starlight. This episode was focused on Kaoruko, the sleepy girl, and Futaba, Kaoruko's biggest fan. I was going to say best friend, but I don't really think that their relationship is a relationship of friendship, even though at the end they ended up supporting each other. But uh, we got to see a lot more about Kaoruko in this episode, and we got to see her true colors. To be honest, I didn't really like her. I think that of all the girls, she is the most annoying one, and I don't know, she just didn't really click with me, and I really disliked her personality and the way that she carries herself and the way that she deals with other people and the way she deals with pressure and the way she deals, especially the way she deals with failure. Failure is always hard, let's face it. We all fail and it's horrible. It sucks. But, you know, there are some considerations to be made. Anyways, we saw a little bit of Kaoruko's um, childhood and we got to see that she she's very talented. She was very talented when she was a kid and then she she's obviously carrying all of that talent until now. Um, and she always uh, made a name for herself, even very young. People stopped to watch her, people praised her, people loved her. But uh, it, it seems that for her, that was normal. That was what was supposed to be. You know, people praising her and loving her was normal. She lived for the applause, as Gaga says. But. Um, she had Futaba by her side, always supporting her, always being a helping hand and doing everything in her power so that they could become, so that Kaoruko could become bigger, a bigger talent in the future. Uh, and so both of them ended up going to, to the same school, to the same academy, and they started working together and they started, you know, blossoming into real talented girls. But Kaoruko is one the type of person who is very talented and at the same time she is also that type of person who relies completely on her talent and she has a very diva attitude towards everyone and everything even though I, I didn't really see her like that before and after this episode we were able to see that side of her better you know I always thought that she was like a teaser like you know someone who likes teasing other people but you know, I thought I always thought that she was always in her own square. And she kinda is. She kind of she's kinda like every time only thinking about her and only thinking about how she could go further. But I didn't really see her doing anything for herself in this episode. While we saw Futaba in past episodes losing battles. And by losing battles, Futaba started seeing that she really needs to step up her game and try very hard so that she could, you know, so that she could end up getting a nice position in, um, in the place. And that's what she was doing in this episode. And for that, she went on to Claudine to ask for help and to ask for guidance. That was something that really struck struck a nerve with Kaoruko because Kaoruko didn't like that. Futaba was hers only and Futaba was not her best friend or her, the person who always stayed by her side like Mahiru was losing past uh, last episode. Futaba was the one that took care of Kaoruko. Futaba was the one who's, who was always there to massage her feet and to help her and to take her to school, and to walk her to school, to actually ride her to school in, in her motorbike. And she lost that, and she thought she was losing that when she saw her with Claudine. She felt betrayed. But Futaba was trying her best to be there, you know, to stay very hard, to become better. And she did become better. She ended up getting one of the eight main roles in one of the stages they're going to do, and Kaoruko got none. And when she went on to ask why, the girls were really direct with her. The One of the girls, actually. She didn't really hold anything back and just told her, your acting is no good, you make... You, you inspire nothing in my heart. So you're not part of the main cast. 
And instead of trying harder to be part of that main cast, because it's not over yet, she simply started throwing a tantrum, just like a baby, just like a child. And I was so annoyed by that. I mean, obviously you can get frustrated. Obviously you won't be happy because you didn't get one of the main roles. That's obvious. But, you know, I feel like that should be an inspiration for you to try harder. And for her, that was not the case. For her, she simply took a step back and said, I'm done with it, you know? And then after she went, uh, and then she went after Futaba, she she wanted Futaba to, to keep on supporting her. And Futaba was thinking about herself at that moment. Futaba was completely right. And she couldn't get Futaba back to support her, to stay by her side every time. And so, she decided to leave the school and go back to her house and, you know, just focus on her traditional dance. I knew that she was doing that just to call Futaba's attention. That was obvious. But I felt, I felt that it was a little unbelievable that none of the girls noticed that. That none of the girls actually thought that she actually noticed that she was doing that just to call Futaba's attention. I mean, at least one of the girls should have been, should have had that eye. But none of them noticed that. And it was so obvious for us who were watching it. And, but anyway, um, Futaba stood by her ground and she didn't change and she didn't do anything. She didn't go after Kawaduko, but you know, right at the last moment when Kawaduko was almost riding the train, Futaba was right there and they ended up fighting. But at the same time, it was nice because it was able to bring them together, not with their fight, but actually with a match. And then when I saw both of them fighting against each other, I thought, okay, this might be Futaba's moment. But we saw that Kaoruko lost so many battles so far and I thought, okay, I don't know what's going to happen in this battle, but I wish Futaba won. I, I was really rooting for Futaba. But I feel like uh, that battle was a moment in which Kaoruko started noticing that she needs to give her all if she wants to be the best, she really needs to give her all. So at that moment when she woke up and she understood, it was so beautiful, you know, the, the, the images of her as a child and of her grown up fighting, you know, uh, you know, the child one was dancing and she was fighting, but the images was, were overlapping and it was really beautiful. And I liked that moment. And I also liked that moment when she faked that she was going to sacrifice herself in the battle. And Futaba went for her and she said, oh, now, you're, now you finally came after me. And she didn't, really took ad she didn't really take advantage of that moment because she went after Futaba, but she didn't really deliver a strong, uh, strong enough, a blow strong enough to take her coat off. And then they had another moment in which they were able to finish the battle, like both of them on the same ground. And Kaoruko ended up winning, unfortunately, because I was rooting for Futaba. But you know, things kind of got back to where they were before with Futaba rooting for Kaoruko. But at the same time, now I think Futaba is working harder than before because she noticed that she's not only there for Kaoruko, she wants to be on the top when Kaoruko's also on the top so that they can see the same view, so that they can stand on the same stage. So that kind of makes sense over the show itself and I like that. And you know, um, Kaoruko also changed and now she is probably going to try a little harder. She's probably going to try her best to evolve and to be better because she was just using her talent to get where she was, but that was not being enough. You know, sometimes you just have to try, even, even if you're very talented in what you do, you have to have a little discipline, you have to try very hard. And she finally woke up. She finally woke up and she, finally, she was finally there. She was finally there 
together uh, with Kaoruko at the end. And I feel like now uh, Kaoruko is going to be a better person. But I wanted Futaba to win. I like Futaba better from when we compare those two. But I think that the, the result ended up making sense, right? Uh, and so one last thing I want to say is that there was a very nice scene in this episode with Mahiru and Hikari and Karen. Because Mahiru is now taking care of the whole room and now she is, you know, she is dealing with Hikari as well. She's interacting with Hikari as well. She's not only focused on Karen and that's nice. That's a nice thing. And, you know, she is blossoming a little bit and I like that. Anyways guys, that was my view on episode 6. Review Starlight is being great as it's always been. I wish it keeps on being like this because it's delivering every week and I am adoring this show. Anyways, please leave a comment with your opinions. Let's keep talking about Review Starlight. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye bye!